What's up, y'all? It's me, your girl, at K Kenora, and I'm back with another video. So, um, excuse the way I look. I've been up all night. I actually, um, woke up like 1 o'clock this morning, and, um, I have not been back to sleep. So, today is Sunday, and I told myself that I was going to make Sunday dinner every Sunday because we used to do it when I was growing up, but you know, um, when the family falls apart, no one really does it anymore. So um, I told myself that I was gonna start back doing it. So right now I am cooking. Um, today I'm gonna be making some um, chicken, shrimp, and broccoli Alfredo. And yeah, that's it. And probably make some Hawaiian rolls to go with it. Um, I'm also washing clothes. I am, I, I started doing my, uh, my toes. Well, I finished, I, I started doing my nails and my toes, but, um, um, yesterday. So I'm done with my toes. I just have to do my nails. So I'm going to put my food on and, um, let it cook. And while it cooks, I'm going to go take a shower and get myself together. But for right now, y'all just going to have to you know deal with me looking like this so i got my onions and my garlic in my pot and i'm about to season up my chicken and put it into my pot and let it boil until it's done and then i'm gonna um saute my shrimp and my broccoli and yeah we're gonna make a meal today so i guess you can call this uh vlogging sunday i'm just getting prepared for work tomorrow so yeah, stay tuned for the rest of this video. I'm not going to let y'all sit here and watch me cook because it's a lot more stuff that I have to do. So, um, I'll be back. So, stay tuned. Okay, guys. So, um, I just put my chicken on and set my timer. So, while my chicken is cooking, I'm going to go take a shower. I also cleaned up a little bit. You know, I'm going to take the trash out. My clothes is still washing. Um, my nail stuff is actually all over my room floor, but it's cool because I'm not done with that yet. I just want to cook my food first before I do my nails. Like I said, I already did my toes. I'll let y'all see them when um, I get done. They're so cute already. So I already know my nails are going to be so cute too. So um, yeah, let me go get in the shower and hopefully when I come back, I won't be looking like this. So. Yeah, stay tuned. Yeah, stay tuned. Okay, y'all, so I've been out of the shower. I was on Facebook. Um, I got a lot going on right now. I'm really depressed. And I haven't, I haven't, I can feel it. Um, so I won't say that I'm, hold on, oh, oh no, and I know my music playing, it's just gonna have to play, so, um, yeah, I'm a little depressed, um, hella sad as fuck, you know, if you follow my channel, nine times out of ten, you already know why. Um, I can't sleep, I can't eat, I'm just thinking about my baby, um, I swear I got the cutest kid. But yeah, I'm I'm hella depressed. But I'm also um, proud of myself because um, I'm still able. You know what I'm saying? Still got up, took me a shower, about to make, I'm still moving. If anybody have dealt with depression, you already know it keeps you 
in the bed. So I got up out the bed, you know, and I, I got to keep going. So um, I'm proud of myself for that. But I will speak it and say, yes, I am. I am um, depressed or whatever like that. Um, I was going to put my lashes on and put some clothes on. But by the time I made that Facebook post, I was exhausted. So um, the same thing that um, I, I don't know if you guys remember someone made a fake page, a fake YouTube page in my name. Um, someone has keeps making um, fake uh, Facebook pages using the same picture and keep requesting me. But my page is public, so I'm like, who the fuck is this and why the fuck they trolling me? So it's happening on Facebook and I'm going to insert the clips right now. So, yeah, I'm like, it's like I'm going through, I can't get away from it. You know what I'm saying? Because I keep getting trolled. I don't know what it is about me, but a motherfucker loves to troll me. Like, motherfuckers are haters. You feel me? So, anyways, my chicken, um, it, it, it's done. I just got it sitting um, right there on the stove. I'm about to get my clothes from out the washer and put them in the dryer and then put my white clothes in the washer. So, yeah, just stay tuned with me, guys. Okay, y'all, so now I'm going to cook my shrimp and my broccoli. And then I'm going to put it all together. I'm going to make my sauce. I haven't even made my noodles. What am I thinking? I got to make my noodles, y'all. Forgot all about the noodles. So I'm going to cook the noodles first, and then I'm going to, um, let me wash it up. And then I'm going to, um, one cup since it's just me. And even though I, I, I got four pieces of chicken, I may not cook all of the chicken. I may not cook all the chicken, so let me pour some of this water out. So yeah, yeah, I'm a, I'm a, um, be back when I get everything done. So I'm just gonna do this. I don't feel like it, y'all. Yeah, but I just put my um, clothes and everything in the um, the washer and dryer. Yeah, so I 
I felt like, oh, that's what I was going to say. Um, if y'all saw before I went and took a shower, I was kind of hesitating because um, I wanted to let you guys know I was depressed right then. But I felt like if I um, didn't go get in the shower, that I was going to soak. So I was like, I, I'll tell them when I get out the shower, because at least the shower can make me feel a little better, you know what I'm saying? Because, baby, yeah. And people would say, don't you, don't you want to be around somebody like right now I don't even have time to feel lonely I can remember when I was making when my son was home and we were making videos I would tell you guys that um you know I was lonely I don't even have time to be lonely baby at all like ain't asking nobody to be in my life to help me with shit because guess what I got it I got it I can do it my motherfucking self. Do I want to do it myself? No, I do not. But do I want somebody to make me feel like um, they doing me a favor? No, I don't. So I'd rather do it myself. And that is why I'm so strong. Yeah, because motherfuckers, motherfuckers act like you need them when you going through some shit. Mm -mm. I'm good. I sit in this motherfucker all day by my motherfucking self. If I have to. That's what, what I do. So I really don't even have time to be lonely. My mind is on my son and if your mind not on my son, then my mind is not on you. Fuck that. Fuck everybody when it comes down to my son. And I mean that. But it's okay because I know my baby is coming home. It's only a matter of time. He's coming home. And once my son get home, I, he never going back to foster care. Never. And they say never, say never, but my son is never going back to foster care. Never. So, yeah. Y'all seen the little clips that I inserted. Now I'm being trolled on Facebook. And um, the thing is, um, this person, he's been doing it since I made my um, Facebook page back in March, when my son went to foster care, I made a Facebook page because remember I had got off Facebook. But I knew I was going to need something to occupy my mind while my son is in foster care. So that's what made me download it again. So this same person, that same boy, has been um, sending me request after request. I actually added him one time. He's already my friend on my page. So why is he sending me request you already my friend because I accepted you before not knowing that it's a troll so and then my my Facebook page is public so um what made me um post about it is because um my biological mom requested today to be my friend but that's not her page you see what I'm saying like why who is that they using her picture. Damn, I hope I ain't messed my toe up. I ain't messed it up. They're using her picture and um yeah, in, in her name, and they sent me a request, a friend request, and that's what made me post about it because I was supposed to been post about this same boy sending me this damn request. I was supposed to been do that, but you know how shit is. I, I forgot. I went to doing something else and no more. I, I didn't worry about it no more. But um, yesterday morning I was like, let me um, 
post about it. And then I was like, nah, I'm going to just leave it alone. You know what I'm saying? And then when um, I got a friend request from my biological mom, I don't know if that's my biological mom or not because she got a whole nother page. I don't know. All I know is someone's using her picture and her name and they sent me a request. And I'm like, hold up, let me, let me, um, let me um, post about it now. And see, the devil be moving so much, he don't even realize when he's safe. You see what I'm saying? Because I wasn't going to post about it. But since he want to keep, keep, you know, sending me a request, I'm going to post about it. Because I don't know who the fuck behind these pages. You see what I'm saying? For my safety, I'm going to, I'm going to post it. So it's the same thing from when I was being trolled on YouTube. I'm being trolled on Facebook um, too. Like people are so miserable. I swear to God, people are so fucking miserable. It don't make no damn sense how miserable people are. But yeah, let me cook these noodles, y'all. And um, I'll be back once I get everything in the pot. Because I still have to do my nails. I still have to put the, um, take the color clothes out the dryer when they're done and put the white clothes in. I still have to take the trash out. It's only little stuff I have to do. Um, I bought some paper plates and the paper plates really been saving me from having to wash dishes. So I'm, I'm real proud of that. Um, like I said, I'm not going to use all of the chicken, so I probably take out a piece of chicken and eat it because I'm getting a little hungry now. So, yeah, I'll see y'all when I'm done, when the noodles get done. So, stay tuned. Okay, guys, so I'm done with the food. Um, I got my last load of clothes. I just took the, well, I been took the color clothes out. Um, I got my last load of clothes in the dryer. Um, I did eat a piece of chicken, so now I'm not really hungry. So I'm just gonna go and uh, do my nails. So let's go. Oh, I'm gonna wash these dishes first. Wipe down the stove, put the clothes up. And um, once I'm done with that, then I will do my nails. So, <laughs> stay tuned. <laughs> oh so, this is my food. Forgive me, I'm trying to eat with my left hand. Okay, y'all, I gotta go because I want to eat. Good morning. May I speak to um, Judge McPhee, please? Judge McPhee's office, hold on. Yes.
office. Good morning. This is Rainika Williams. Um, did you get my message I left Friday? I'm sorry, you had what? I, I, I asked, did you uh, receive my message from Friday? I left a message Friday. Call, so no, that's fine. That that's morning. fine. That's right. I, I didn't call until after hours. I figured you you guys were oh, okay. uh, yeah, were closed. So um, so on Friday I was in the driver's license place and my caseworker called me and told me that my son got bit by a dog on Wednesday. So my thing is, why did they wait until Friday to call me and let me know this about my son? And then. They won't even let me see my son. Ma'am? You, you still haven't seen your son? I still haven't seen my baby. And then they put him back with the foster parents that I had the issue with before. I'm so pissed off. Like, they're supposed to protect my son, and it seems like every time I turn around, he's getting hurt. Okay, so he was bit by a dog? How did you hear that? My caseworker called me Friday and said he went to the hospital on Wednesday and got one stitch because he got bit by a dog. But the picture that she sent me, it doesn't look like he got bit by a dog. I don't know what happened to him, but it don't look like a dog bit him. And I didn't hear about this until Friday at 3.30. Alright, let, um, let, me, let me poke around and I will um, text somebody to get back to you or I will, okay? Yes, ma'am. Thank you so right. much. Okay, okay. Bye. Sorry. I was just, um, I just got finished praying. Um, I was just sitting up here thinking about the call I just made and, um, everything that I'm, um, I have to do today and what I'm doing. It's like, how can everything be falling apart, but falling together at the same time? You know what I'm saying? Like you have everything that you need, you don't want for anything, but the one thing that you want, you don't have, and it makes everything that you need feel like you have nothing. I miss my son, is all I'm trying to say. I got everything that I need, but I don't have my son, and I will never be okay until I have him. You know what I'm saying? For my sake and his sake. You know, we need each other. God put us together for a reason. And I will not allow him to be taken away from me. You know what I'm saying? So all I'm saying is appreciate your kids. Appreciate your family. Like, those are things money cannot buy at all. And I'm proud of myself because I've always been the type that appreciate my son. Like, if... If you don't know anything about me, you will know that I am a good mother. Like, I spend time with my son. He he make me happy. He deserved that. And, and I know because of the fact that I sit down and spend time with him, have movie night, do things that he want to do, listen to his ideas, is what make this situation a little bit easier. Because I know my son did not get taken away because I'm a bad mother. You see what I'm saying? So, um, that helps. Appreciate your kids, bruh. Appreciate your husbands. Appreciate your family. Like, those are things money cannot buy. You know what I'm saying? And right now, I'll give it all up just to have my son, just to have my mom alive. I will give it all up. Okay? And what makes the situation harder is that my dad is not answering his phone for me, and that makes the situation a little harder. But I will say that my child's father 
has been coming through for me. Even if it, it's just everything going to be okay. I'm sorry I'm not there. That's my child's father saying that, y'all. Something I've never heard him say. So, yeah, like I said again, I don't know how things can be coming together but falling apart all at the same time. I'm doing my nails, so I'll get back to that. You guys have a blessed day. Bye. What's up, y'all? Okay, so I'm sorry that it took me so long to um, finish out this video. Um, today is Tuesday, and um, as you know, I started this video Sunday. Um, I was cooking and cleaning. I um, washed clothes, cleaned the house, even though the house has gotten back dirty since then because when I get off work, I just come home and scrape down and take me a shower and get in my bed. So I'll, I'll be doing some more cleaning tonight because um, my caseworker is supposed to be coming tomorrow. I just actually messaged her. She was supposed to come. Um, what today is? She was supposed to come today, actually. Today is Tuesday. But I just, um, I rescheduled Monday because I had to go do something today that was very important. I'm not going to tell y'all what it is. I'll tell you guys when I'm finished with it. But anyways, um, Monday, I ended up, as you see, I ended up calling the judge and everything. And she, um got well the judge's secretary she got my um lawyer to call me but she actually called when i was in the shower so i couldn't get to the phone and um friday when i called clearwater she got jennifer the region of director to call me monday and tell me why i specifically told her that i work from 11 to 6 o'clock and um she still ended up putting the Zoom meeting for um, Monday at 3. Why would you do that? So that made me feel like they're punishing me for requesting not to be at Camelot. So they, they're making me pay for it. And I wish I could have recorded that conversation with her. But my bath water was running and I was trying to hurry up and get in the shower so I can get ready for work. <clears throat> Don't worry because I let them know. Like, if you can't call me before 11 o'clock, then don't call me at all. You see what I'm saying? Because it's stressful for you to call me last minute when I'm on my way to work. And then whatever you're calling me about, it's on my brain the whole time. Can't focus. So, don't worry. I called them and I let them know that shit. But um, I feel like they're really punishing me for uh, requesting to be at um, the Child Advocate Center. And then Jennifer going to tell me, talk about, I can't go against the judge. But bitch, you go against the judge any other time. Ugh. I do not like that lady. I don't give a fuck if she know. Like, ugh, I... I don't like that lady at all because you guys already know her attitude is so condescending and it just irks me, you know. So, um, that's what I did yesterday. Went to work. I got my new bike on Saturday. I don't know if I told y'all that or not. I got my new bike on Saturday. Um, I rode it to work on Monday and I dared a motherfucker to flat my tire obviously it did not get flat so um did that what else happened and today is tuesday so i went and did whatever i needed to do and um i did not go to work today my job scrape pissed me off but that's a whole nother matter of fact let me tell y'all um my job pissed me off I got a floss, y'all. I got a floss. But, y'all, yeah, so my job pissed me off because when... Matter of fact, that's just going to be a whole nother video for a whole nother day. It's so much. It's so much. It's like every time I turn around, I swear to God, I feel like 
someone is like literally trying to destroy my life because it makes no sense. And I said this once before, for me to have problem after problem, okay? I also finished doing my nails. Um, it made me so excited to do my nails because I haven't done my nails in so long. I forgot I needed needed it. It was so much of like the first time I've been relaxed, like mentally. So I did my nails. I'm going to insert a picture of my nails right now. Okay. And I'm also going to insert a picture of my bike right so this is the new bike. Don't worry, I rode the hell out of the bike today. Um, I'm really grateful for this bike because it got me so far today. I rode 30 minutes, but it was worth it because if I would not have had this bike, I wouldn't have been home right now. So the paper came out of it and the little paper off of it. And can you believe the guy at my job asked me why I had the paper in there? Bitch, that's none of your business. Why are you worrying about my bike and you got a car? So this is the bike, y'all. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this video because the music is playing. So um, yeah, my caseworker is coming tomorrow. I still have something to do tomorrow, so I just messaged her and asked her if she can come before eight o'clock um tomorrow, so I can go ahead and finish my parenting class or whatever like that. I don't know what the fuck my sister done told my dad. But my dad is not fucking talking to me right now. I I don't know. Like I've been calling him, whatever. Not talking to, not talking to me. And I know she said something. But anyways, um, what else has been going on? That's about it. I just wanted to come and up update you guys on what has been going on because I know I said I was coming back Sunday after I got finished eating my food, and I never did. But anyways, um, thank you guys for tuning in into this video. Thank you for all the love and support. The new subscribers, I see you guys. Um, the likes, I see you too. Um, yeah, if you're new to my channel, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for supporting me. We're going to get Noah home. Just send me all positive energy because I need it right now, y'all. I need it right now. So, um, yeah, just stay tuned for more videos because I will be back. So, until next time, peace.